Hey everybody, and welcome back to Colin's Crazy Creatures. I'd like you to meet Cuddles, my chameleon gecko. I named him Cuddles because this species of chameleon gecko likes to hug fingers. In fact, the breeder called calls them finger huggers. I also like to hug vines and branches, so when you set up their enclosure, it's good to have those items so they can hug them. The other names for this species of chameleon gecko is Eurodactyloides agricoli, which is a scientific name, or the Bowers chameleon gecko. There are other species of Eurodactyloides geckos, and they are Eurodactyloides velarde, Eurodactyloides occidentalis, and Eurodactyloides symmetricus. This graphic shows identifying features, who and when they were discovered, and where they're found on the island of New Caledonia. New Caledonia is an island in Oceania that is a treasure trove for different kinds of geckos, not just Eurodactyloides. And those other geckos are crested geckos, which are commonly found in the pet trade, like my mo like Mushu, which are called crusties. There are gargoyle geckos, and my dad calls them gargs, and they're also common in the pet trade. There are Saracenorum geckos, which are very rare in the pet trade, but are there, and they're called Saras. There are Chihua geckos, and me being a Star Wars fan, I like that they're nicknamed Chewies. And finally, the largest gecko in New Caledonia, and also the largest gecko in the world, the Lichianus gecko, also known as the Lychee. The care for these geckos is pretty much exactly the same for any other New Caledonian gecko. They need a relatively high humidity, they can live at room temperature, they don't need any special lighting, just a day-night cycle, they, need, they can eat commercially prepared powdered food diet in small invertebrates, and their setup is pretty much the same, just smaller. And there is one difference with these geckos that is different from any other New Caledonian gecko, and that is that you can actually cohabitate them with others of their kind. Yes, you can cohabitate chameleon geckos with their chameleon geckos, and you can actually keep quite a few in a decent in a small container. Our current enclosure for cuddles is a small co plastic container that we actually got from the breeder and we set it up like this. We put paper towels in the bottom which I keep moist. I have some breathing holes on the side. I have fake plants in there from the hide in. I have a piece of cork bark which is on so you can climb on it. And two water bottle caps, one for water and one for food. Which I change daily. And when he gets bigger and we have more mates for him, we're going to upgrade him to a bigger enclosure, which is just an intermediate size. And then once he's fully grown and all of his, and he has a bunch of friends, we can put him in this enclosure, which is actually Mushu's old enclosure, which he's now living in this. And we're going to put multiple chameleon geckos in here. In fact, you can keep so many of them together that in this enclosure, that if you put chameleon geckos in this enclosure, you can probably put about a dozen in there and they'll be fine. Cuddles is very small. He's only about two and a half to three inches in length. And when he's a full-grown adult, he's going to be about five and a half inches in length. 
which is about the same size as an adult crested gecko's tail, if it has one. Which brings up the coolest fact about these geckos, and also the best fact, is that other than is that unlike every other New Caledonian gecko, this kind of gecko does not drop their tail. So, no messy cleanups. As you can see, he's licking his eye, and geckos do that when they don't have eyelids because they keep them moist and they clean them. Some other cool things about this gecko is that their pupils have a really intricate design and there's a little bit of yellow around its mouth. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and see you next month, Colin's Crazy Creatures.